Being married for seven decades is a major accomplishment for any couple, let alone one that's spent in the world spotlight since the day of I Do. He has quite simply been my strength and stay all these years. Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip have shown the world just how far love can go by withstanding wars, tons of palace intrigue, and of course, the pressures of public life. However, I think that the main lesson that we've learned is that tolerance is the one essential ingredient of any happy marriage. No marriage is completely easy, however, and even the royal couple has shown some strains along the way. So let's take a closer look at some of the odder facts you may not know about the regal duo. Kissing Cousins it may be surprising to some, but the queen is actually distantly related to her husband. The two are third cousins through their shared great-great-grandparents, Queen Victoria and Prince Albert, who themselves were first cousins. Elizabeth was just 13 years old when she first met Philip, but despite her young age and the fact that they share some of the same blood lineage, she fell for him pretty quickly. But even though they share some family members, Elizabeth grew up on the posher side of the spectrum, while Philip had a different experience. He had a more normal childhood, washing dishes and playing sports through local organizations. And when she fell in love with him, he was a naval cadet, while she was destined to take the crown. Parental Approval in the beginning, George VI didn't exactly approve of his daughter's choice of groom. The king was concerned about British opinion when it came to the idea of his daughter marrying a Greek prince. And it wasn't just Philip's family heritage that affected the king's opinion. Philip's voluminous laugh and wild manners also reportedly got under the king's skin. But in the end, Elizabeth was allowed to marry the man she loved at the age of 21. Making a Sacrifice in order to marry Elizabeth, Philip had to make some changes to his own life. He had to become a naturalized British citizen, and none of his German family members were allowed to come to the wedding, which included Philip's three sisters, who had married German men. On top of that, the king did not want to officially announce his daughter's engagement until she was 21, so Princess Elizabeth and Philip had to keep their relationship quiet for some time until it could be announced. Rationing a Wedding when one thinks of a royal wedding, words like glamorous, elegant, and extravagant come to mind. That's certainly been the case in recent generations, as with the nuptials of Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge. However, there were certain budgetary constraints on Elizabeth and Philip's wedding due to the tough times of their union. Great Britain was still recovering from World War II when the couple were wed, so the queen-to-be actually had to use ration coupons to pay for her wedding dress materials. Of course, the government allowed their princess 200 extra coupons for the dress, but still, she shared in the nation's struggles in her own little way. Naturally, the resulting dress was still very beautiful and luxurious. It included a 13-foot-long train and was embroidered with crystals, so she wasn't exactly roughing it with those ration coupons. Keeping a Distance even though they've managed to make love last all this time, Elizabeth and Philip are still known to keep one another at bay in certain ways. For example, the two have never shared a bedroom with one another and have always instead had adjoining rooms. Given the size of their various castles and royal manors, it's probably not surprising that the two choose to keep their own spaces. But it's been that way since 1949, when they first moved into the Clarence house. What's even more unusual is that when Elizabeth officially became queen in 1953, Philip did not get an automatic upgrade from his status as the Duke of Edinburgh. In fact, it took another four years for Philip to become an official prince, which means that the power imbalance between them became even more pronounced than it already was. Of course, after 50 years of experience, I find there's a great temptation to give advice. And finally, the two have the very strange habit of very rarely holding hands while in public together. Whereas her grandsons have delighted in giving their loved ones public displays of affection, the queen keeps her perfectly gloved hands all to herself. Thanks for watching. Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.